Today, we've got the Gyodo Showdown. Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. I'm your host, JP, and it's finally here. Today is the Gyodo Showdown, starring these four bad boys right here. Starting with my left, the Mercer MX3 uh, Gyodo. It's a 270 millimeter Gyodo, so it's the longest of the all. Uh, of, <laughs> of the all. It is the longest of the group. Then we've got the nine and a half inch Ioshin Gyodo. We have the 10 inch Enzo Hammer Damascus Gyodo. And we also got the Yaxel, this is the Dragon Fire by Apogee Culinary. It is also a Yaxel knife and it is the BD1N nine and a half inch Dragon Fire Gyodo. Starting from this end, we've had the more traditional contour style, Western style handles to the more Japanese D style handles here. These are the micarta handles, red and uh, blue, triple rivets with the stainless butts. Very similar in terms of the profile if you look at them all. This is Sanmai or three layer VG10 core. This is the Erdon. This is a VG10 core and this is the BD1N steel. In grams, we have 247 grams here. Again, it is the longest. Next, we have 200 and 267 grams, 20 grams more. Next, we have 253, 263. And we're just going to get into some cutting here. Okay. Try not to dull the edge before I get to cutting. All right. <clears throat> you can see. Let's start with some bell pepper. So we're going to start.
All right, well, <laughs> as you guys have just seen through all of that, there's the cutting. Uh, basically, I cut through tomatoes um, in the middle, kind of went impromptu with doing the drop on the tomato, just to see, again, um, factory edges are only on the Enzo, um, and it's a pretty good factory edge. It is a 70-30 grind or 60-40 grind. It doesn't appear to be 50-50, um, but it's pretty good. Not as sharp near the tip, definitely sharper from the midsection all the way down to the heel. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not a comparison about sharpness in a sense, but in terms of sharpness, factory sharpened and the sharpening that I did, they all seem very uh, similar. Um, I didn't notice any difference in sticking because of the hammered Damascus, the tomato still stuck to it. In fact, I think the IO Shen probably performed the best uh, in terms of the sticking, but um, I think I even helped it, so it didn't really matter. Potato-wise, uh, the suction cupping, suction cupping, suction cupping happened primarily on the MX3, the Axel, and I think the Iocean. Uh, there may have been a benefit with the potato not sticking because of these little air pockets, so uh, it's plausible. <clears throat> In terms of cutting, um, they all felt very, very similar. The profiles are almost identical. Um, so it's gonna come down to sort of handle comfort and balance, and if we look at the knives, um, I think the balance on the Enzo, it is blade heavy, so it's gonna be right near the, uh, right near the choil and the heel. The Ioshin is definitely, or not the Ioshin, but the Dragon Fury is definitely, um, it feels a little bit blade heavy. It just feels thick and it's at the same location. So the balance is the same. The Mercer, I believe it's right uh, in the same spot as well. So the balance is gonna feel the same as all of them. The Io Shen is the one that's gonna be handle heavy. So the balance is gonna be right on the bolster. Um, about an inch, almost an inch difference in comparison to the other three. Um, <clears throat> handle lengths, they all feel pretty identical. The Io Shen handle is much thicker than the rest. So if you have larger hands, you might find that this one is um, better. I didn't notice a difference in the cutting edge in terms of length, so there was no difference there. The cool thing about the micarta style handles and the same thing for G10 uh, is they get tackier as they get wet, so um, if you're in a wet environment, you might consider that. The MX3, <clears throat> I think it comes in with the smallest uh, price tag, so I think it's the most inexpensive compared to the rest of the knives. And it held its own. I actually am pleased with the MX3. Um, I like them all. The MX3 and the Ioshin have the 50-50 grind, so they're really easy to sharpen. With the 70-30, uh, 60-40 type grind, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more attention, but you can still get them sharp. Um, I think in terms of performance-wise, though, you know, <clears throat> they're all very good. So you're gonna say, well, which one do I pick? Well, it's gonna come down to a lot of preference here. If you're trying to save money, um, I think if you get the MX3, give it a shot, you're gonna love it. Um, you're not gonna tell any difference. The only thing you know that you might come across is the fact that it says Mercer on it, as opposed to Yaxel or um, some other Japanese brand. And so, you know, people might look at that as a as a negative. For me, I know Mercer is a great company and they make great knives, so I don't have any issues. Um, with Enzo and uh, Dragonfire being from the same manufacturer, you have the difference between the VG10 with the Damascus or the BD1N, um, and it's gonna come down to, to sharpness in terms of overall performance. I can tell you that these three knives, four months, didn't have that big of an impact. As you can tell, the IO Shen is much sharper than it was over four months, and it was um, pretty much not dull, but it didn't have the same edge from a third of the way down. The MX3 has been consistent for me the entire time. I haven't had to hit it with a sharpener, and it is a VG10 core if you love VG10. Um, so if you're looking for a VG10 knife because you want the VG10 properties uh, compared to the rest of the knives, Mercer's where I'd go if you want to save some money. 
You can perform just the well. You're going to pay a little bit more for the rest of the knives here. Um, that might not be true for the Dragonfire. I have to double check the pricing on there, but um, the MX3 was definitely in the 120s uh, when I last looked on Amazon. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look. Not necessarily a quick look, but this deep dive, this competition, if you will. Um, I'm honestly pleased with all of them. I wouldn't have any problem using them, but for me, budget's going to be my number one uh, concern in terms of buying a knife. And I think the VG10, um, even though it may not be as popular today as it was before, I think it still holds its own. I love this knife. These other knives perform just as well, but um, for me, the handle comfort, the grindings on this handle are uh, spectacular. So it, it's it's rounded near the belly of the of the handle. We have a little bit of a bowing. We've got that contour for the pinky, and then these are flush, so these are flat. And <clears throat> the spine is rounded, very comfortable, and it takes an edge just as well as any other knife. And I mean, we're looking at VG10. Uh, these knives, uh, they're not as refined in terms of the spine. The Enzo is the thinnest of them all, um, so it has that Japanese style appeal, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but I think the uh, Dragonfire is a little bit cheaper, so you might be able to save a few dollars and get this one if you're looking for a Dragon style or a, a Japanese style D handle. And of course, if you have larger hands, the Io Shen might be better. It doesn't feel as refined in terms of the handle, but it's very similar. You've got the flat, flush sides with the rounded uh, belly, the contour, the bowing. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think the steel holds up as well as VG10. So, and I think the price tag doesn't justify it. Um, unfortunately, if you do have large hands, you're gonna have to shell out a little bit more money to get something that fits. Uh, for the rest of you guys, um, average build, average uh, size hands, and my hands are a little bit small. Um, these, this one feels the most comfortable in my hand. Um, they're all a dream, I love to perform with them all. If you noticed, when I was cutting with the MX3, that tomato was just gushing out white juice, so that one was spoiled. And it had a, a, a kind of a weird smell. So that may have thrown me off a little bit for my cutting. I wasn't sure how to proceed on it, but I did it. And, you know, uh, they all cut through limes perfectly. Um, they're sharp. What can you say? They're all sharp. They all have the same style profile. The handles and the balance and the material is where you're going to see the variance. The uh, Ioshin is definitely handle heavy. It's a much fatter handle. Balance is right here on the bolster. The Enzo's, the Axle, or I'm sorry, the Dragonfire, and the <clears throat> MX3 all have the balance right on that center choil. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Again, uh, drop me a subscribe, drop me a like, and always leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys thought. I'd be happy to go into any more details, or if you guys want to see me cut anything else with these knives, I'd love to do it for you. Um, Happy holidays. Here's looking at the new uh, year. I'll probably get another video out, hopefully before the new year of my, uh, my picks for this year. But um, if you haven't checked out my Christmas shopping list, I know Christmas is tomorrow. Um, but if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. Maybe some last minute gifts, or if you've got anything that you're returning and you're looking at something to pick up, that's a perfect place to start. Um, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.